Hello, welcome to Cars of the Week. I am Barry San. And I'm the Night Shadow. And we're here giving you this week of Car of the Week, which is pretty much strictly TD cards. That's fine. I know, I'm, you know, I don't, I'm not too hyped about it. <laughs> well, this is for the week of June 22nd to 26th. I think we're going to start with the Tullaveroo stuff first. Go for it. All right. Love's Licking, Maya. This is a yellow character, level 0, cost 0, 3500 power with the Transform trait and the Sweets trait. As a continuous, this card cannot declare a side attack. Not That's right. a TD. That's a TD. Wow. I mean, I'm reminded right now of Gargantia's 4K that went to memory if you failed to check. That yeah. card was pretty good, and this card is pretty good as well. For oversize, that demerit isn't really a demerit. Especially in the early game. The only time where it actually matters is if they can actually stop you from front attacking. But who does that at level 0? At level 0, not really, but it becomes more of a problem at more level 2-ish if you play against Little Buster's twin stack in particular. Oh no, this 2-2 yeah. is going to stop my 0. Oh, it actually no. can. Yeah, well that's why you only run, you don't play it later on in the game versus Little Busters, but other than that, there's not really anything that does. Other than that, it's not much of a demerit. It's a pretty good card. Yeah. It's, it's a good card in general, so yeah. Wouldn't be surprised if you see this in the main deck. I'm pretty sure they have I'm pretty sure they'll have better oversize if they really needed it. Well yeah, but I'm just saying like as of this point, this is a pretty good card and as a, yeah, as a has the potential to see play. Which is kind of rare for a TD card that isn't an exclusive, so who knows. Uh second card. Happening encounter or chance encounter rather. Uh, Harana is a red character, level 1, cost 0, 5,000 power with a sports and animal trait, and it's a clock on core. It's a solid card, again, in the TD. Like, there's been one bad card so far. That's, this is pretty good. It's, it's okay. That's all I have to say about it. Yeah. Alright, uh, moving on. The older sister that bears a uh, thought for her younger sister is Lala. Red character, level 1, cost 0, 1,500 power with the alien and science trait. 1,500 backup. Poor Lala. Uh, Main character I, to support I'm, status. I'm not even going to comment on this card. It's, it's pretty... Pretty standard and will definitely get replaced once it's, the booster comes around. Uh, that depends, actually. They might not have a better choice. Eh, true. Gentle but brave, Rito. Red character, level 1, cost 1, 7,000 power with the plant trait. Uh, it's vanilla. It's vanilla. We, we, you just, we just, can we just pass by this? No, no well, there's actually this. a joke regarding him and his plant trait. How he likes to face plant. Was that the case? And to other people. Oh, that's what you that mean. That was the joke, yeah. Okay, that's what you mean. Oh, yeah, okay. Now, yeah. now, now I remember. Yeah, okay. So, next card is Reading Yami. This is a level 2, cost 2, 8,000 power, yellow character, uh, with the Transform and Tayaki trait. When this comes into play, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a level 0 character, put that card into stock. Put the reveal card back where it was. And as a change ability during your climax phase, you can pay one, ditch one, and send this to waiting room to change into darkness yammy from your waiting room and put it on stage. It has the potential to be a 2-1. but that You just have to run a lot of zeros. You just have to run a lot of zeros. So this actually is pretty good if the set is an experience set. Uh, there's, no, there's, no, no, there's no definition on that yet. Uh, yeah. So, so yeah. Right now it seems it's passable, but who knows? We'll see. I don't know. Honestly, if I really want to do that, like it, said, it's probably see. just a. It, although honestly, it feels like it's just a bonus. Yeah. You well, it's a nice it. bonus because I mean, like normally you don't like the two-two changers because they cost so much just to play. Oh, but I feel not... I feel you. I feel you. I used to play the uh, rewrite changer, uh, Lucia <laughs> uh... changer, but that's completely different. Well, anyways, uh, moving on to what the change target is: darkness, yummy. When this comes into play from your hand or as a result of change, heal one. And when this card attacks, you can ditch a card from your hand to give a, this character 3500 power until the end of the turn. The heal's nice. The heal is the power fine. Boost is standard. The power boost is standard for a TD. Yeah, this is yeah, it's pretty standard for a TD. Uh, I, can't sim I can't comment much about addition, addition card to give a 35. By the time this usually comes out, you're probably just refreshed or... Well, no, no. I mean, like typically in TDs, you refresh at level two. So if you if you manage to refresh one more time because you manage to stall out the game with heals, unless you ditch your extra climaxes, so it's not too bad. Uh, it's not too bad. It in essential, depending on the number of these cards run. I mean, I assume this one, this card's in twos and the other ones in yeah, two. Yeah, of course. You you have technically four level threes. It it essentially. 
Yeah, because the other two change into the three. Yeah, I think this is not a bad combo for the set. It's not a bad combo. Obviously, not the best. <laughs> Nobody's going to match up to Milky Holmes. Yes, no one can match up to Milky Holmes. I'm just going to say that now. All right, so now we're covering the Attack on Titan TD cards. And even though you can see their effects on screen, I might as well read them out. First card is Mikasa Ackerman. This is a level 2 cost 1, 7,000 power. Red character with the core and weapon traits. If you control two or more other core character, this card gains 1,000 power and character discard encore. When, other, when another core character attacks, this gains 1,000 power until the end of the turn. This is TD card, right? Yeah. That's a pretty good TD card. <laughs> yeah, it reaches 10k and it's also Encore. Like, this is insane. And it only loses 500 from the vanilla? Like, yeah. It's, like, already has the Encore. And, oh, yeah, it's insane. <laughs> the power creep is real. I have a card like this, except it's just 2 1, two, one 8k and, and one has a second effect. <sighs> it's, it's, I don't know. It's insane. It's a good card. It's a good card. But well, then again, Mikasa is a good character, so. It's a good card. Yeah, uh, you, you, you sh I think you'll be playing this maybe even in main deck. Uh, actually, maybe not. It depends. Yeah, it, may, it depends. It, it depends. Level two has always been that iffy level. <laughs> nah, it's just, it's just because a lot of us play the Japanese type meta. In English, I guess it, it has more. Level two has more of a presence in English, and yeah. this card definitely will help bolster that. Yeah, I guess so. It's a, it's a good two of anyways, as a, as a two, even if you're not running heavy level twos. Yeah. All right. And next card is Armin Arlout. There's a 500 assist, uh, 500 power, rather, should I say, yellow character, level zero, cost zero, with the core and weapon traits. It's a 500 assist, and as an act ability, you can tap this card to give an Eren or Mikasa 500 power. Honestly, it's, well, a, good, it's a good card. Yeah, yeah I, I, I do know this is actually like a TD, uh, no, a double R card for Shauna. Except the uh, one for Shauna was for all flame traits. This one's rather specific two names. Well, I like to think of this card more of like a UE from uh, the Sword Art Online trial deck. There's that too. There's that too. But yeah. I think I think one of those two got played more than the other. So we'll see what happens in this set. Because if Eren or Mikasa gets played more than the other, then I mean, well, there you go. <laughs> all right, so the next card, Hope in the Darkness of Despair, Eren in Titan form. Level 1, cost 1, 6,000 power, yellow character with the Titan and Core traits. As long as you control another character with Mikasa or Armin in this card name, this card gets 1,500 power until the end of... Oh, well, wait, that's not until the turn, what? That's a continuous, whoops. Either way, it's a good TD card, I guess it's like oversized for almost no reason. I was it, laughing. It, it really depends on the whole TD makeup though, honestly. Either way, like, this is a solid 2 of. Yeah, it's, not, it's, it, it's, not, it's not like it gains Encore or anything, but honestly, it's oversized if you have one one or two certain other characters out. And one at the top that one is to support, like, actually to support that card. And even beyond that comment, like, this card is pretty good. It's good like, for TD, for sure, definitely. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. Now the question is, is the next card good for a TD? I wonder what you have to say about this one. The emblem on their backs. Yellow event, level 2, cost 0. Choose one of your core characters and give it 8,000 until the end of the turn. <laughs> well, I can tell you it's an emblem on my wallet as well. Well, not, that's not a bad wallet. <laughs> Anyways, as, um... As long as they're not attacking titanic prices. Anyways, um... <laughs> um okay, let's just say it like this. It, it's kind of a one-card boost to, to guarantee a card kill. It's nothing more. Um... It ch it actually checks out. Um, it it checks out in regards to power. Um, if you look at an event that gives power to all your characters, it's two thousand to all characters. So essentially, to the front throw three. So is that six thousand power? When you get when you find an event that gives only char power to two characters, it gives them thirty five hundred power each at level two. So if you're just giving it to one, the natural progression is eight thousand. So that's actually perfect in terms of numbers. Now, is this relevant? Well, this is definitely thematic, but I don't think this is a good card at the moment. Honestly, unless they have a really, a really good card that requires a high amount of power, like it, if this card attacks have this much power, it does this much this effect, then I would understand this card's, card's usability. <laughs> what is this, Dimension Police? You, hey, hey, they might just give that option, you know? Well, I I I won't. I mean, I won't it might it, it's it, it might be a new mechanic they might uh try to add in for t Attack on Titan. 
So when this card attacks, if it has this much power or more, then do stuff. Yes. Or like, oh, I can, you know what? I can see it now, but it would. I don't think it would be like a, a different type of mechanic. I think it would be something along the lines of like change. Either way, you kind of get the point. Um, yeah. As of, as of right now, this is a pretty shit card. I played a card relatively similar to this once, and I regret playing it. Uh, there was a card rewrite uh, that was a two. There was also a two zero. It gave five k, and your opponent gives a number from one to three. If they guessed right, you draw a card. Oh wow! Oh, it, 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 it's a brainstorm mill off your deck. Okay. It, and did they have to guess how many climaxes you mill? No, they had to guess how many how how many uh occult tra uh, occult traits you you mill. Occult. Out. Okay. Okay. Either, it was a pretty sick card, but it was it was still fun as fuck because it's still, it's another brainstorm for free. Well, yeah, you might as well brainstorm when you can. Either way, this card, I can't see any relevance actually using it unless you really, really, really need a killer card. However, in the TD only meta, like for example, those, those players that play TD only, this allows your sort of quote unquote irrelevant level zeros uh, to be able to beat over any level threes that the opponent plays. At least, the beater ones at least. Well, I mean, like, you, you have your vanilla. 3k and you add 8k to it that's 11,000 at a climax and now you're pretty much beating over every level 3 TD it's true this is true although you might consider the cost of um, you know two cards from two cards for his one card you had to remember that his card probably still costs stock well no the way I the way I described it to a person um, earlier today actually was along the lines of like okay imagine this event right your opponent just had a level 2 and they change into their level 3. I don't know, I'll say a Darkness Yami. It's 10,000, great job. You play your vanilla. They spent Did you just one, card from, oh, one stock, one card from their hand, and sent it to the waiting room. So essentially a minus one to change into it, in addition to painted dust. Sorry? No, it, it, Sorry? it sounds Hello? like... No, go ahead. It, it, I can make that work. Oh yeah, it cut off. Anyways, yeah, so... Um, they have the Darkness Yami on the stage, and all you have is several level 0 characters on your stage. Well, now you can deal, deal with them. You play this card, uh, you play your vanilla, no cost to stock, even make it a level 0 vanilla. You play this card on top of it, now you're on over this changed level 3, and they spent more resources than you did. You spent one character that will still stay alive, and one card from hand, and they spent two cards from hand to get a character. They spent multiple stock, and now it's going to die. So this card is great against changers and pretty much nothing else. <laughs> Depends on the changer as well, actually. Yeah, if the changer has Encore, then you're screwed. Um, it's, uh, as of right now, it's too situational a card. Yeah, I have to see more. And that's it for this week, I guess. We're not talking about the promo? It's already been discussed. Has it? Yep. Okay then. Okay, I guess then that's it for this week. Uh, thank you for listening. I hope you will tune in for the next week over. Um, so regarding set releases, um, Love Live DX in English releases on f well today really when the day that we were recording this, um, which is Friday August. Wait, August. What am I talking about? Friday June twenty sixth. Wow, I'm I'm really off. <laughs> So, for those that play Love Live and those that play English, uh, get your Love Live packs now. It's a combination of Love Live Extra and Love Live SIF. Is it? Well, uh, I couldn't care less. Yeah, you play Idol Master. Um, other than that, I think that's it for sets right now, though we're expecting a big announcement for English sometime soon. So, I'll keep your eyes peeled for that. And we'll see you next time.